no, we're late. We're not late now. We're Good. on time. Says you. Could you pass my OJ? Okay. No. Cool. Okay, we're live. Fantastic. Evening. Good Good evening, everybody. <laughs> evening, everyone. And welcome to the latest um, Chinwag. Yes. This is episode seventy. Seven zero. Seven zero. Yeah. Yep. Seven zero. Um, yes, it's episode seventy, and today's title um, or, or topics for discussion are going to be sick days. Mm -hmm. um, and it actually looks like it says like. 76 days. 76 days. Is yeah. that how many times you're sick? Oh, it's seven. Yeah. yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> 76 days. Um, <laughs> but it's not. I but forgot, it's not. I forgot the colon. Yeah, um, it's, um, it's chin and, wag. Yeah, chin wag number 70. Yeah. And we're going to talk about sick days, yeah. just sick days. Um, and equipment to improve the business and just some sales, yeah. the usual. Yeah. Just a bit of, bit of chat, really, a little bit of chat. Okay, um, um, I can see some comments already. Um, very quiet, sounded very low. What have you done to the mic? Um, really? Yeah. It can't be low. Um, make sure it says you it check. In the chat. Who else is? Very quiet, Karin Fisher. It's very um, quiet. I've not done anything. It's 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 loud. Is Hello. It me? Is it Hello. my problem? Is it me? Hello. How's that? No, Megapixel says it's quiet. Uh, yep. Yeah. Is it uh, to, uh, come come close to the mic? Looks like you just got up, says G Man. <laughs> no, no, but is it? Let us know whether it's still quiet. I mean, I I don't know. Yeah, hopefully it's okay. You haven't messed with anything. Have no, you? I've not messed with anything. Okay. Um, everything have you done your yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's all there. It's all there. Yeah, it's still going I, up and down. I just turn. Yeah, I think stuff. it's you because you're miles away from the mic. So you, like, uh, yeah, it's always you. It's, it's so, always you. It's so compact here. It's, it's like quiet, really but can hear. Okay, let me move forward. Maybe that's yeah. better. Sound is fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, there we go. Right. Um, okay. So, hi everybody. Hi. Yeah. Um, we have a topic this week. Yeah, we have a um, topic. Yeah, we're going to talk about sick days. Um, just yeah. uh, saying, lots of people in the chat have turned up, so thank you everybody for joining us. Um, we have currently got uh, sixty-four people watching, which is mm -hmm. fantastic. So thank you for joining us. Yes. Um, a few comments coming in already. Nick's Nick's in the chat. He says, "What's a sick day?" Um, <laughs> and um, today's title: Where did I put my hairbrush? From says Southwest Sellers, um, so his hair is on a mad one. Says Peter Ray. Yeah, he's he's. You're actually thinking about getting it cut, aren't you? It's a bit fuzzy, isn't it? It is it's a bit. bit fuzzy. It's a bit fuzzy. Speak yeah. up at the pardon. Speak up at the back. I don't know. Speak. Okay, I just turned my volume off. It's fine. It's quiet, but can hear. Sound is fine. Mm -hmm. um, sounds okay to me. Says Ray. Okay. Um, okay. I don't know. Okay. Cool. Speak we're gonna up. go with it because we haven't changed anything, so we're just gonna. Yeah, just speak up. Yeah. Just, just speak up. I might have up. to use my loud voice. Yeah, Lou, use your loud voice, yeah. It's not that loud, though. Just use it. Um, okay. Still, Still very, very quiet. quiet. Oh, man. I, okay. I um, is it, hold is it on. your quiet or is it me? I don't know. It's probably probably you. Let me just... I don't think... Uh, Have you messed with No, anything? I've not messed with anything. Um, should, I've not messed with anything. You should test right. this before we go live, you know. Okay. It's not... It, it should be fine. The sound should be fine. It's definitely yeah. picking it up. Um, you you do it as well. You talk. What? God, no. I it, hate it when you tell me to talk. What kind of, kind of videos are we making? I know, right? This is not, they're number you know, 70. What is it? Still, three minutes in and we still can't get the sound we're just talking about right? the sound. I know. Silly. Uh, use your knocked off voice with Z, says Karen. <laughs> <laughs> use your dealing with Zaheer voice, Beck, says Carl. So it's you. Yeah, but that's just scary. That your voice, voice. yeah want to use yeah. that voice uh, i suppose yeah it can be a bit scary, mm, that is but, yeah. scary. um andrea <laughs> says hi um who are these deaf people says ryan that's a bit rude ryan <laughs> yeah we need to get close to the mic that's the problem okay. you, she's always like moving I'm not. Look, away okay chill man okay. chill well let's get there to the go. topic okay, okay. Let's. I can hear you loud and clear, and I'm in Essex, says G Man. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to talk about sick days first. Um, yeah. The reason why we're going to talk about sick days is because obviously working for yourself, mm 
um, we don't we don't get paid days off work, no. right? Um, a sick day is what a teenager calls a great day. Uh, call, calls a good great day, says Megapixel. Yeah, I mean, I'm aware of sick also being used for that. But Beck had a few sick days this week. I have. Yeah. 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 Explain it. Well, you know, I I finished working at the shop on Tuesday, didn't I? And I was getting into the car, and I actually pulled all of the side of my neck. Um, yeah, and just it's really been really really sore and the thing is I've been doing a lot of exercise and you know we've been walking a lot recently haven't we yeah so um if I was going to get injured I thought I would have gotten injured because of the exercise but no I get injured getting into the car so just getting into the car you yeah. can't even do that properly um <laughs> and you know it hurts herself <laughs> Um, I've been in a lot better today, though. I mean, you've been really strict on me, haven't you? You've been like, don't bother starting on on work with eBay if you're not going to be able to manage it. So you've actually been really strict on me and told me to rest up. And I think the problem yeah. is you've got to recognise the kind of person that you are. Yeah. Um, like with me, it doesn't take much for me to relax, mm -hmm. right? I if I. <laughs> I don't need to be <laughs> sick to relax. We're two different people. Yeah. When Whereas it comes to that, you, aren't we? you're really not like yeah, that. Yeah. So I, I didn't really want to stop. To be yeah. Quite honest but this week. if you had, um, you know, mm. if you had like carried on as you would have liked to, you could have probably <laughs> um, hurt yourself even more because when you you know when you pull your neck and you strain yourself it can yeah. easily get worse yeah. and like with i know what kind of person rebecca is mm -hmm. and you just have worked and you would have just prolonged the pain as yeah. it were i mean previously yeah. when i when i was in like a full-time job yeah i would have felt pressured to have continued to work um because you know just bringing in sick to a job you, you know you already feel that pressure well i do anyway I, I would have felt that pressure and been like oh i can't take too much time off i'm gonna have to get back to work um and yeah you don't want to have to ring in every day and explain your situation yeah and like i was you know and i said this to you yesterday um because when i was cooking dinner yesterday i actually said you know in a normal you know in like previous years i would have actually felt the pressure to go back to work whereas in a way you've allowed me to have some time to kind of relax and feel better yeah um i mean yeah i think <laughs> why are you giggling <laughs> no, i think like what the, the thing is that's the thing like it, it, i made sure that you kind of took some time off you know doing like work because you know it can be quite physical especially dealing yeah. with all the crates and whatever and you yeah. can easily make mistakes I mean, when you're not feeling well and also yeah. i pointed out that you still were doing a lot of things yeah. around the house like still cooking you're dinner. still making dinner still you're doing still doing work. like how yeah exactly the girls still yeah. come to you for whatever they want as well so you were still doing a lot of things right mm -hmm. um the only thing like i was kind of just saying to you was don't worry about yeah. listing more parts or do you, you know you just have to take yeah, that I think time the thing is, yeah. it wasn't actually listing this week that i would have been doing i would have been doing a lot of the sorting so it is like heavy boxes and <laughs> parts and why do you keep giggling i was just so proud. some of the comments are hilarious <laughs> <laughs> some of the comments are really funny Car up. Karen says I bet you're like my husband's here can fall asleep standing up oh yeah, yeah I came I in yeah. here um, just before the chat and I was just like oh you know what are we going to talk about today and, and I was blah, asleep blah, blah. and he was asleep on the chair it, the lights were completely off so I should have known yeah but <laughs> I'm talking away and he's like yeah. all right in yeah. the chair um, <laughs> and also um also this funny <laughs> comment from south Vasella, z reminds me of the harry enfield sketches women know your right your limits <laughs> you remember chumley warner mr no, chum you don't remember mr no, chumley warner no. he used to do this really good i sketch. did used to yeah. watch um, yeah. harry enfield but i, I i'm really yeah. rubbish at names aren't i yeah mr chumley warner was really funny um yeah. but i think it's important that you know for you especially mm -hmm. like you know when you do hurt yourself or something you've got to be willing to acknowledge yeah. that you know taking a day off or a few days off is way better than getting i mean i think yeah. it's it's easier because we're part of a couple because in my head i knew that you were still going yeah. i knew you were still you were still testing things you yeah. were still being listed and you were still um, carrying you, on stuff as yeah. well so it's not like you were just you know just not doing anything you yeah. were still doing things that doing need to eBay. be done yeah exactly yeah. um so rebecca you mean gaming slash relaxing all day says dave <laughs> um 
the way it has to, uh, you know, going forwards, um, the exercise will hopefully increase your health and reduce sickness, says Megapixel. Yeah, hopefully. Definitely. It I has think, already yeah. felt a lot better, hasn't it? It's just, yeah. it, it's been a slight setback. I mean, we've still been walking. Yeah. Although we didn't go out for a walk this morning, which we should have done. Yeah. Um, um, Ryan has a question. says, sick days, do you have a balance in place in case you have a sick week? For example, you can have that week sick, okay, but the next week suffers for lack of listing, sorting, etc. happens to us all. Um, um, we don't have any particular... We don't really have yeah. a plan. We just rely on yeah. hopefully the other one's well enough to keep going. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's, that's our plan. So that's, yeah. that's the Which, plan, Yeah, being really. honest, we should do. We should have yeah. a plan. Yeah. Um, but to be fair, um, when you didn't actually activate all of the listings for when we went away, so that's kind of tied us over a bit this week. So we have actually had activity going live. Yeah. Because those listings were meant for last week when we were away, but because you didn't make them go live, we still had them for this week. We so still we had kind some, of played yeah. on that really, um, and used those and whatever you yeah you manage simon to says sometimes well. you have to give in and get back to full speed definitely yeah and that's what you were saying yeah. to me as well you were like just take a couple of days get yourself fit and then we and then you can go back it, full I, course. yeah i mean you i think it's the same principle with taking just general time off yeah where you you come you know if you take some time away from work mm -hmm. you know the whole point why do people go on holidays because you come back recharged and mm -hmm. you're probably going to be more productive because sometimes if you're just constantly going and if you're working while you're not mm. well, you're not going to be working at your, your maximum anyway. Mm. And then, you know, that's when mistakes can happen. Mm. And plus, you just won't get as much work done anyway. So, yeah, um, that's how it goes. Um, Fritz still asks, hi, Zahir, what's the next step after selling out RCs? Whatever we find, really. Yeah. Um, we, we're not strictly going to stick with RC. It will be d dependent on what comes along. Yeah. But if more RC comes along, we won't say no to it yeah. either. Yeah, I mean, it's just been a case of that it's come along. Mm -hmm. um, we've recognised that it's really good. Mm -hmm. um, I enjoy it. Um, you don't mind listing no. it. Um, no. So it works for us. Uh, but Yeah, I mm. mean, I'm probably a little bit easier when it comes to the listing. I've, yeah. I'm not really fussed about what I list. Yeah. Um, you tend to have a bit more yeah need to have a bit more of an interest in it but yeah and andrea says a mum never gets to fully rest <laughs> yeah i mean i f i kind of feel bad yeah but I, like that she was still doing stuff but i kind of feel yeah, good but that wouldn't that, have stopped anyway, yeah so. you would have done that stuff yeah. anyway so i'm kind of yeah. happy that you did actually take some time off yeah. and megapixel says i had a lot of sick days when i worked for the man no sick days now i work for myself yeah i mean yeah that, i mean it, it yeah. is hard to take that time off um, yeah like I said, it was probably slightly easier for me because I knew you were, you were going to continue to work. So, um, so yeah. Yeah. But I, I, I didn't... When I was in full-time work, I never really took time off either. So, yeah. So, I'm just one of those people. Um, <laughs> Jack asked, were you affected by the KFC chicken shortage? <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, and Car Carla says, I caused it. I didn't cause it. <laughs> Um, and I, you know, I have not been affected by it, guys. <laughs> yeah, we, I don't, do you know what? You haven't gone yeah. for a chicken, have you? No. But then that's probably because while we were down south, we, we ate, ate a lot so of chicken of while we were down south. So when we come up here, yeah. we was like, we don't want it. <laughs> we did eat a lot down south, but yeah, so, and when we came up, actually in the night we came up as well, we had some. So yeah, but it wasn't KFC, was it? Yeah. It was. And then the news yeah. broke that the KFC. News broke, yeah. But we, we didn't go to KFC. We the last no. place we went to was just some random chicken yeah, shop. Chicken so, shop. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Nick says I have to force myself to take time off. It doesn't come naturally to me at all. No. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, it's not easy. Love the FCK apology advert by KFC. I've not seen it yet. Great marketing. No, we've not seen yeah. it. I haven't rewatched any TV. Look at Z's hair after two weeks with no KFC. Imagine it after four weeks. Have to phone the RSPCA. <laughs> Oh, it is gosh. a bit crazy actually Looking it is at it, it is a bit screen. of a mess yeah but i, just, I don't know it's yeah. fine it just grows there and i just leave it you know it's it's just what it is <laughs> um, and, what, and what are you doing with the rc cars again because ray cunningham's just pointed out what are you doing with them what have i done with them yeah they're at it again are they yeah no they're not the, 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 look that's that's the big audi and that's like a little 
car at the top. It's a little one. That's just a tiny one. Yeah. So, yeah. There you go. You, you're um, moving it. Yeah, she's moving it. Yeah, that's the the Audi is amazing, isn't it? Oh, it's just so good. Um, right. Um, Carla says, "I wish someone would buy something off of me. I've forgotten what the kitchen sound kitchen sounds like." Funny you should say that, Carla. Our sales have gone very quiet. Yeah, um, we had good week. Yeah, we've had really good last week. I think we've it? had a really good like overall period mm. for quite a while, um, and then it's just been yesterday. Mm. Um, and today so far has been quiet mm -hmm. where we've only had like one or two like low value sales like really low value sales mm -hmm. um, but we have had some good we have had actually had some good sales overall mm. though so um, Karen says I think being serious now as self-employed we can work a heck of a lot more hours and are at serious risk of burnout it's important to take time out and take care of yourself I need to do this as Karen yeah yeah I mean, we we do try and structure our days normally, don't we? We try yeah. and work when the girls are at school. I mean, obviously, it's difficult when they're on half term because we have to kind of try and keep the business going as well um, as being there and making sure they're enjoying themselves. But as our normal day today, like when the kids are at school, we do try and work between the hours that they're at school, sometimes a little bit later in the evening if we have to. Um, and then weekends, I tend to take off. You can tend to keep working through the weekends, don't you? But I tend to take off the weekends so that I'm, I'm yeah. there for the girls at the yeah, weekends. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. You know, we do try and balance it out a bit like that, don't we? So. Um, G-Man says, yeah, very interesting, guys. Can we now get <laughs> back to talking about coffee beans? <laughs> well, I don't have a coffee machine at the moment, no. but the urge is growing oh, it, daily. It really is. And like we had the most amazing coffee oh, when we went down amazing. south. When we, we were, there was this little yeah. place. It was on the East day Croydon. we went to actually meet up with Nick and Andrea. Yeah. And the yeah. thing is, we yeah. we knew that there was a coffee place there. We just hadn't tried yeah. it. But their, oh my God, their yeah. coffee game was just oh, on it was point. Just so I, crazy. Like they had, like I could tell, I always look at the equipment. I know <laughs> it sounds silly, but I do look <laughs> at, check out I, I do, I always check out the equipment that, that people are using, right? Because what really annoys me, okay, what really does grind my gears is okay, like when you go to go. like a car boot cell, mm -hmm. right? And you get these people turning up with their mm -hmm. like, you know, syrup with a little van shit fest, you know, where they're just standing there, like, you know, like, language? sorry, so I put apologies. It's only seven in the evening. Sorry, but it just really frustrates me because like they stand there like, oh, coffees, you know, we, we do coffees at the boot fair and it's some crappy all in one, oh, just, just joke of a machine. And, and okay. they, they, there's no control. There's no nothing there. And it's just, I was just horrible. Kind of like McDonald's. McDonald's are annoying me now as yeah, well. Yeah, they were Because they aren't take... They? No, but they take the mick, McDonald's, because they've got this whole campaign going where they're, like, trying to make fun of coffee, aren't they? Yeah. Where they're like, oh, you know, mocha, frappa, lappuccino, yeah. whatever, and what's a, what's flat, a flat white, white and all this garbage right yeah and the thing is just like their coffee is crusty it's terrible it's the it's, worst coffee out of, for say, such a it's big got company a really yeah. bitter aftertaste it, and just, I, I can be a bit fussy because no, it's burnt it's burnt the beans well. they use because yeah they do have machines which mm. are again they use all in one machine so basically kind of yeah. like the the beans are just there they the machine grinds the beans the machine mm -hmm. um chooses the grind doesn't change the grind because the beans are all pretty stale mm. anyway and they're and they're like really dark roast mm -hmm. so they taste just terrible yeah. it's just to anyway, mask the flavor um, but yeah so this just, place yeah. right it's <sighs> it was called o yeah they, otopia yeah and they have the and, sickest oh goodness, hardware like that yeah you can tell a lot by the and coffee it's a, grinder it's a really well. nice place because it's like gluten yeah. free it's um vegan like yeah. friendly yeah um, well, it's so it's really, good if you're so yeah. if you've got like health um, like if you have certain health requirements, it's, really health it's good. Conscious, isn't um, it? so I wouldn't say it's healthy, but it's no, really uh, the, they, the ingredients they use are yeah, good. Yeah, for the ingredients. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're from Sussex or something, and then they yeah. come up. Um, the but, flapjacks. But were yeah, awesome. oh, the coffee though, the coffee. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just oh, it, it was, was epic. It was yeah. Really good. So yeah, I'm really. But we do need yeah. to get a machine. You are looking, aren't you? I I've been looking. I've been yeah. looking. Um. So yeah, I yeah. think I am gonna get. But we need something a bit smaller. We can't have that big commercial thing in our kitchen 
because it's just it's yeah. just ridiculous. I don't know. Can it, we go for something a little bit more I don't, compact? I've been looking at I've been actually looking at getting a Libra espresso yeah. machine. I know you were showing me the other yeah, day. that's really fun because yeah. you really do get to control the shot because you have to kind of like. Will it still take you half an hour to make me? A probably coffee? even long. Oh, no, no, no. no wait, see, I can't do that. No, wait, if it doesn't take me half an hour, yeah, where do you get that from? Show, it, doesn't, it does. No, it doesn't. You it does. just no, but you that the problem is right. You want a coffee, but you wake up four ways before me. All you've got to do is switch the machine on so it heats up. The no. problem was, like, yeah, it, it is. It wasn't heating the machine that was it the was. issue. No, it I was. No, it was. used to switch it on. No, it wasn't. It was you. No. It was shot after no. shot going, no, that's not right. No. That's not right. Okay, well, if that's you want, right. if you just want the first crusty shot that comes out, <laughs> fine, you know. But okay. I'm, you know, Shall we go back Just because I the tried chat? to get. No, but I'm just saying, I'm just, you know, you don't. <laughs> Let's go back into the chat. No, but you want to. <laughs> I'm not arguing, okay? <laughs> just saying. Just saying. But, you know. But, yeah, I do, I do want that. Um, Karen says had five cells so far, but my week so far has been ghost town. It's mm. the same here. It's not been particularly. Then again, isn't yeah. it like payday weekend this weekend? Because um, it's a shorter month, mm. isn't it? Twenty eighth is like next week. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. It's probably yeah. payday weekend ish. Alia says, if you could go on holiday, where <laughs> would you go once you sell those RC cars behind you? Great question, Alia. I'm. Um, I don't know. I've got loads of places. I, yeah, I've, I've got, got so visit. many places. We've not been on holiday abroad, like Are ever. Are you gonna say this? Yeah. No, no. I will just say it. Like, I, it's been uh, last time. Last time I went on holiday was uh, like you abroad. I was eighteen years old. Yeah. Um. So I was fifteen I, yeah, when yeah. I was with my family. So it's now you know, and our kids have never been abroad. Yeah. So we, you know, we really would love to to go anywhere. To be honest, yeah. we just. It's one of the yeah. things that we are planning on doing this We've year. We've just never we? gotten round so, to it. To um, yeah, we we end up going like to see family or whatever and just yeah. around and yeah. just, you know, but yeah, we're going to do that. Right. Um, okay. Question. Why is there a car on top of the R8? That's not what I need to see. My eyes there. I'm disappointed. Ryan, I actually took the R8 out for a little spin yeah, today. Oh, you did. such a good car. Yeah. It is just such a good car. Um, right. Um, <laughs> Enough of the coffee. Time for your review on your Morley, says Karen. <laughs> <laughs> um, what have you know. started, G-Man? <laughs> By the coffee machine, you'll find the space, says Sunny. It, well, that's well, what that's I thought last thing. time. Okay. Set bigger control to 12. <laughs> The thing is, but it was just it was yeah. the machine was just so ridiculous. Why did How, you get something that's so big? It was eighty quid. I know. But still. We sold it for three hundred. Yeah, well, that's that's better. Yeah. But it sat. It, it couldn't go I was in the using kitchen. it. It was too was tall for the kitchen, <laughs> and then you blamed it on the cupboards. Being it is too the low. cupboards are too low. And I was it's like, not... no, that's just a normal kitchen. No, the cupboards are abnormal. It's a normal kitchen. No, it, I think... it's a normal kitchen. If they uh, were any higher, I wouldn't be able to reach the top shelf. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah. Just saying. Um, first crusty shot. <laughs> so glad that's coffee talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds gross, Dave. But yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep quiet now. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Um, <laughs> right, uh, Z, just get an espresso touch. A great coffee, a touch of a button. I couldn't do that, Simon. Sorry, um, but thank you. I bet you follow Nick and Andrew to Florida, says Dave. Oh, I'd love to go Florida. I would love to, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, if I'm we not, could, that would no. be just epic. But I'm not sure. What you don't want to go Florida? It's not top of my list. Right? What's top of your no. list? I think I'd like to go anywhere to be honest. Good like Japan though. I'd love to go to yeah, Japan. Yeah, Japan is yeah. definitely but one anyway, place I'd love to go. Spain 2010 for me. Z, if you get loads of snow next week, will you have a snow day and ditch the listing, says Jason. I doubt we it. We don't normally get snow that lasts that long up here. We, yeah. I mean, we got snow last week sometime before we went away. It was actually Monday, wasn't it? Yeah. And it was it had cleared up by Tuesday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Shelster Rooney says, "God, you're all deprived." As soon as I have some cash together, I plan a trip. That's. I think it's more of the fact that we're just never. Yeah, we've we never been. It's never been in our. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. Like you know, we have. I've not even list. renewed my passport for years. Yeah. Because it just just haven't done it. Like I don't even have one. Yeah. Well, neither do I now, really, because it's it's expired. Yeah. Like it's it's so old. Yeah, but, yeah. but I, I, 
Yeah. I was from the time when you could be on your parents' passport. I used to be on my mum's passport. Wow. And yeah. I, that, you know, I've never really had a passport, so. Yeah. Um, back in the room when we're discussing the height of height of cupboards. Yeah, it was I just. Know. Yeah. yeah um, I, I think maybe that, America yeah. first flight would be a bit long for the girl, says Karen. Yeah, no, yeah. I think for. I think I've spoken to the girls anyway, and I've still got to kind of run it by you, but our, our first holiday is probably just going to be across to Spain. Um, Hannah seems really up for it because she's learning Spanish at the moment at school for GCSE, so she'd love to kind of. Get a, get an attempt at <laughs> speaking some Spanish. Adam says so. Equipment to improve business and sales. Buy a Wait, coffee, coffee machine. machine. I know, right? No, it's th- what we were talking about. We'll get on to that. Yeah, we'll get on to that. Yeah, we'll get on to that. Um, this um week we finally received and started using our um. Label funnily enough, printer. our label printer, which is <laughs> our the printer. the zebra. GK420 which we've got just here yeah um, and that's the one that Nick got from eBay yeah and it's the one that Royal Mail recommend I, be- I, I believe yeah um, and it's you know it was something we'd put off buying yeah. for a while just because we we're the kind of people that just use things right yeah. and uh, yeah. look, Car- uh, Karen um, sorry Karen has already come in, I want a label printer, but can't justify it with the levels of sales. See, we were at that point, and we yeah. kept telling ourselves, once we start getting more sales, we'll start doing it. Funny and thing then we is, started getting we, more sales. Yeah, but now we've like, bought the printer, we had some, we had lots of sales, and now the sales <laughs> stops. <laughs> and now we've just got, but but we, like, we printed we two, were at that point, we had though, two parcels we? We were just going like, out today. I can't, yeah. I can't, you know, justify the cost of a label printer for that very reason, Yeah, you know. I mean, uh, yeah. one thing I will say is that it, it, there's always there's always reasons why people put things like that off because it does change how you're doing things. Mm-hmm. So for the past couple of years, we've been used to printing out our labels on our laser yeah. printer. Um, and changing to this did cause a few teething issues where I couldn't get, like the, my local post office couldn't scan the barcodes mm. on a couple of the labels I'd printed. And I thought, oh gosh, I've you know spent all this money on this printer but the labels are free which is brilliant like yeah. that you get those from royal mail mm-hmm. um but i found out after a bit of research um the correct settings for the printer and i found out that using a thermal label printer mm. is good but you can't really use paypal or ebay to print out your royal mail no. um that for some reason <laughs> paypal and uh, um ebay's uh, royal mail um labels they just come out horrible mm. and nasty they just don't come out correctly um so i i like I, it just it was just they just don't come out right however if you use the royal mail like click and drop service mm. or whatever um then they come out absolutely perfect hermes come out perfect as well um so it's been a huge time saver hasn't it yeah um and 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 also it's just it, it, it's little things like we just had this We've just had this delivered today. Mm-hmm. We've been using a broken tape dispenser since we I started think, yeah, reselling. Out, it's over there. I think I've been it. Yeah. yeah. So we've just gotten, we've actually just gotten this cheapo. This is really cheap though. It's like seven quid yeah. or something. But we're just going to yeah. show you our supplies. Yeah. Look. Should we just unbox our tape dispenser? Look, look at this. Oh, look at this. It's red. Supplies. But look at this. We've been struggling. You seemed pretty impressed that it's red. Yeah. We've been struggling with like, you know, a broken tape dispenser for like over a year at least. And it's so annoying. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just one of those situations where you have to, um, you, ha- you have to take, um, you yes, have to take these kinds of decisions. Somewhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it does. Like that. Yeah. Like that. So, you, you oh, okay. Yeah, it's going to. I mean, that, it's sure such it's a simple. Gonna... <laughs> it will last enough. I think it will. I mean, once it's got. Yeah, it, it will do the job. Yeah. yeah it we'll should see. do the job. Um, if we'll not, see. we'll get another one. But I want to start making sure. And, and, like, I think Ryan yeah. said, it's all tax deductible. So. But Carla's going because yeah. it's her dinner time. So oh, okay. See you, Carla. We'll see you, Carla. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I just saw Ryan saying it's all tax deductible, so it doesn't... It you know, is, yeah. but there is obviously the initial cost to you at yeah. first. So that's but it really um, does so make... yeah, it does come off. Yeah. I, I just think it's a lot better to, 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 to do it. 
um, and it saves so much time. Um, I mean, I think I would really recommend, uh, you know, if you haven't got yourself a label printer, um, you know, at least buy sticky label paper for your laser printer. Mm. Just because, but that can still be wasteful um, because, you know, it, it, it'll print it out on certain sides and you have to start, pe- it still yeah, takes time. You, went, you, you used to... to do that, didn't you? Yeah. And then you, you were going to the lengths yeah. of actually moving the sticky label so that it would be in yeah. the place so that when the next label kind of printed yeah. out, it would be. <laughs> Nick right says, I'm so sad. I actually get excited about stationery who an unboxing. I'm in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> And Peter says, Peter Ray says, Z, I got the same tape dispenser. Me too, says, will you take less? Yeah, it's, um, um, yeah. it'll probably do the job for a while. Well, um, the thing is, it's it, it, it's cheap, but the thing is, we have yeah. neglected to, to do it yeah. for, for this long. And we always do. Yeah, and, and it's broken. And mm. like, it's, it, it, it just, you know, just, it kept on going at an angle and yeah. just, it was, sand falls out of our other tape dispenser, <laughs> you know. <laughs> what it really did it does sat, the, <laughs> because it cracked it was really good but it was yeah. no because it was a really nice weighty one but obviously yeah. once it gets broken then it was just kind of just yeah, falling it was falling, it was falling apart, apart so, yeah. and it's just not yeah. what you want to be dealing with yeah, it, yeah, you yeah. really don't right. um i use the big tape gun for stuff like that says ryan i know but sometimes you need like yeah, the accuracy the little, of this of the slim yeah. one yeah, yeah. um because i don't like the I mean, because when we was actually sellotaping our labels, like all yeah. four sides, but I, I, it was like with the big tape. I used to hate the big tape. I think that makes me feel a bit better. Nick says I was cutting and sticking labels for so many years. Took me forever to upgrade. Change is slow here, but yeah, I get that. I mean, it's mm. so much better to have a label printer. It's just like, and not just that though. Go the whole nine yards. Make sure you've got the right size envelope and yeah. and all that kind of stuff as well. So yeah. it just makes the job so easy. Um, your aim must be out, Z, says Ryan. I don't know what you mean by that. Uh, Dave's comment. I have about 10 tapes started, but can only find one at a <laughs> time. That reminds me yeah. of you. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got so m- Yeah, I've got so many. <laughs> what was it you were looking for the other day and you expected me to know where it was? I don't And even... I was just like, what am I meant to know? Yeah, what I'm, that is? I'm const- Seriously. I'm const- oh, I know what it was. It was the cable to um, one of your batteries. Okay. Like the, you know, the... Oh, the adapter for the one adapter. of my RC car batteries, you're, yeah. You're going to be, where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> where did you put it? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> um, what's the betting that Bex gets the old dispenser? No, the no, old one's going, going in the in bin. No, that's going in the bin. I'm not yeah, having no that. No one's having that. Yeah, yeah, that's going in the bin. Yeah. Um, <laughs> affiliate link to your approved label machine <laughs> says happy chap um, my label printer is very reliable it's called a pen says megapixel <laughs> honestly I think when you print labels out at home it yeah. really makes sense to yeah. have a thermal printer because like especially because you, we get the, the rolls for free from Royal Mail um, which is brilliant so mm. you know um, and to be honest with you like it, it just I just think it's a great i'm gonna make a video about it though because it is cool just mm. about setting it up because yeah. i had to find out the settings because you have to turn up, you have to turn dithering off there's a funny <laughs> option called dithering yeah yeah okay. yeah you have to make sure dithering is off and when the you, thing yeah. is like i haven't got it set up like no because obviously i can't I don't. I don't think it's wireless. Let me show. Let me show if you show people. So where it you've is. got it connected to yeah. your computer. Yeah, it's not wireless. Let me just so show people. When it comes to. Oh, where is it? Can you see it, guys? No, not really. Mm. What are you doing? There it is. There you go. Next to my um, my my McDonald's, <laughs> my cup. McDonald's cup with orange juice. See GK four twenty. See. That's... Yeah. So yeah. so what we've been doing is if if I get a sale on yeah. the second store, um, you're either going to my emails and get the label printed out that way because we were trying to email the label to you the other day and we it was just so much going around the houses kind of thing so we were just i was like just give up just go into my emails just print out the label for me yeah. <laughs> so that's the way around it we found it's like because you always get a copy of the email exactly um, sent to you, yeah don't you? So, so you can find a way around yeah. it yeah um yeah. My tape dispenser is weighted by cement, says Hoof Hearted. Wow, okay. okay. Um, Flipping Fantastic Fine says, just bought a 50 millimeter tape dispenser and the pi- and the 
pick, um, picked a tape gun from the car boot for a pound with tape. Ah, pretty good. That's pretty um, good. Are um, you also a bit suspicious when you invest in office supplies for the reselling business and the eBay sales suddenly stop for a few days, says Fritzster? It's annoying when that happens. It is annoying. Um, but... but it's already paid for itself because yeah. when we came back from oh, um, when we was... came back from London, we had like forty parcels to do. Yeah. Well, and, you you yeah. did them all by yourself. Yeah. Didn't you? I did them all myself. <laughs> but it would have taken me so much longer. It just that was it. Do it live now. Put the old one in the bin. Says Dave. <laughs> the old one's it's broken now, dude. Is. It's over there somewhere. Oh, I've, I've hidden it behind. I see yeah. It can get up and get it nah, no, I can't nah. to move sorry nah. ah, there you go Dave <laughs> says dithering means that grey will be made up of random dots ah. oh, Z okay. turns dithering off listings increase tenfold lot. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, Nick. Yeah, I wish I could turn my dithering setting off. I know, right? Um, yeah, we need. We all need to t- turn dithering off. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, we have you. We, if you've got a zebra printer, you must turn dithering off. That is from the official uh, post office PDF on how to set up your thermal go. printer. Right. Um. Uh, wow okay let's have a look at the chat again we've got 123 people watching at the moment which is fantastic thank you everybody for joining us um what we're going to do um is then now go on and show you a few sales like we said sales have been slow in the last couple of days but we've had some nice sales come through as well so we will go through that in a moment um god um I love the post office self service machines. I've got them down says Megapixel. Um right. Houdini's long box says, Do you have two basic shops? I have a basic but unsure to make the jump to the eighty pound a month store. Any advice? Okay, well the second store is on a basic and the main store is on a featured. I was yeah. up at a featured store. Um, but I took it back down to a basic because it wasn't making sense. Um when it came to the fee side of it. Yeah. Um, and because I haven't been listing on, as much on it. We have, I don't know. I've kind of left the yeah. second store We've where decided we're going to just run it down, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we, we've, we've been... Uh, umming and ahhing. Umming and ahhing about yeah. it. And we keep saying, we're going to have two stores. And then no, we go, have one. no, we're going to have one. And this has been like the back and forward for like since December. Yeah. No, yeah, around December, I think yeah. we've been going back and forth with this, and at the moment we're back at the stage where we're like, no, we're definitely going to run it down. Yeah. So I don't list on it. Um, I run the occasional sale on it, um, and it's a basic store. Um, at the moment, because I haven't changed my handling time, I've still got it on five days from when we went away. Um, so um, sales wise, it's a bit slow at the moment. But normally yeah. it ticks over fairly nicely. When whenever I do sales and stuff like that, I get a nice yeah. uh, amount of sales. But um, I don't know, changing up to a featured store that's a that's a bit of a tough one. It's it's really hard to say, isn't uh, it? Yeah, I mean, it really comes down to how much you see yourself listing. Yeah. Um, so, for example, if you were gonna come into like if you know you're you're about to find a big haul mm. or you find a lot of stock. Um, and you know you're going to just be... And it's got to be regular. Yeah. As Reg- like yeah. regular if, if you're going to list gonna a lot getting. regularly, yeah. then it's worth it. Um, you know, it just from the maths of it, I suppose yeah. it'll they'll become a point. I think people have worked it out that you need about 600 or something listings. Um, and even if you don't have that many listings, what some people do, mm. e- even if they don't have a lot of listings... Um, having the middle store allows you to um, relist your items more. So if you're selling a lot of one-off items, like we're not selling mm. one-offs, we're selling a lot of items that we've got multiples of in most cases, mm-hmm. right? Um, so it doesn't apply to us that much. However, when we find an item that's a one-off, mm. um, we could we have the option um, to list it as a 10-day listing. Now, I know Nick does this mm. where he has his listings on a 10-day cycle. Him and Andrea both mm-hmm. list their items 10 days. Yeah. So even though they're not doing tons and tons and tons of listing every month, yeah. um, 
obviously that will change now with the cars, uh, the car parts. But like you know, it, say if you 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 have a small inventory, technically what you could do is you could have an inventory of maybe like four hundred good items, yeah. and and list them ten on ten days. Um, and you you'd be able to mm. run have new sell some sell similar them three times mm-hmm. a month and and not you yeah. and just use up your twelve hundred or whatever so that's an option yeah um righty then um let's just go down um hillsman says hi everyone sorry you just got home from a busy day that's cool thanks for joining us that's cool. um fifteen pound auction box of cameras sold one for 475 posted today to Hong Kong I'm guessing says Lady Lolly. Yeah, that Hong is Kong. amazing Lady that Lolly. That is really amazing. 475 pounds for a vintage camera or is it a vintage camera? Um it would be great of you to um share what one it was cuz that's amazing. Um I think I may have seen a post somewhere either on instagram or on facebook but i can't remember i think you may have shared it but you know that's a great sale 475 quid is insane um featured is a big jump i want to keep above 700 to keep featured says karen um question beck how's the walking going when is the walk for charity who's in front with the money raised says twin red dragons we've not checked not checked i think last time it was andrea that was in front Mm. Um, on the fundraising page, I we, think I haven't checked yeah. for ages though. We're gonna be um, pushing it a bit more now. Aren't yeah. We? So this week, our aim was to do three walks, um, three miles, wasn't it? We're three aiming miles. to, yeah. Um, we've um, already done three this week at that distance. So our aim was to do nine miles in total this week. Next week, it steps up to I think about twelve, according to the training plan. So um, there's one that's a four mile and then there's a a few that are like three miles. So, um, so yeah, it's going to start stepping up now because we've only got 12 weeks, I think it is, until we actually walk. And then we're going to, is that it? It's not 12 weeks, is it? Oh my God, it's so close. I think it's 12. Yeah. yeah, it's 12 weeks. Um, and we're going to hopefully see if <clears> we can <throat> actually do like a big walk with Nick and Andrea, aren't we? If we can or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if we can, that'll be good. Um, uh, yeah, I yeah. I think I said when we walk like the twelve or thirteen yeah. mile one. Um, if we can meet up a really at that nice point, walk yeah. Along the Thames, um, something like that, which would be nice to do. Yeah. Um, right. Um, yeah, I can't believe Nick says we did three miles today, hoping to get back into it now as the walk gets nearer. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting a bit worrying how close it's getting. I'll, um, I'll email the training plan just in case you didn't get it in your emails. Um, because I found it on the Walk the Walk website. So I will email it to Andrea. Um, Dave says, here, I've got a pic of you and Beck's chin wag number 10 on the screen and your face looks big compared to what it is now. Well done on your weight loss progress, dude. Thank you, Dave. Yeah. Although, um, like, I've been eating crud lately. It's been not good. Oh, he's back again. Is he back? Is yeah. he? Yeah, okay. Just going to block him out. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Um, but yeah question let's see the outfits for the walk we've not got them we're yet not Ryan. Got them yet, so but when we do when yeah. we receive them it's meant to be like yeah. a wild west theme so yeah that's gonna be interesting to decorate for that yeah so. okay um all right we're gonna quickly pop in and show you a few items we sold because we've not done a sales report for ages mm. guys i would love to hear your feedback about sales reports because every time i sit down to do a sales video like of some items i've sold it's just so like so much of the same stuff and it kind of puts me off making the video because it's just mm. it like you know you well, I just surely you don't want to do see it, it. Yeah. like yeah because you've been saying this a couple of days yeah and you've been saying oh i'm gonna make a sales video and it, but then, then i look like, at what oh, we've sold RC, and it's, it's so RC, much rc you've had some and really it's... nice sales there's a couple of nice vehicles we have that have gone and yeah. we have um but yeah it's just but, something yeah. it's just anyway, just um, yeah do you want to sh- screen share and we'll go yeah. through a couple of sales sam dallas says from tsunami shores to otter point every morning here on the oregon coast yep i'm a walker i love walking yeah. it's it, it's i mean yeah. we we really 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 liked the running didn't we yeah and um, we will get back to that once the moonwalk training stops it's just the moonwalk training is going to take over a lot of our time um and 
we've got to kind of make sure we're balancing like work training and yeah. family time so we've we've cut back on the running and decided right concentrate on the walk training and yeah yeah, no, yeah there's not so going to be any fun. spandex by the way guys no um, no, yeah. no no but you've been doing a lot of the fitnessy type stuff on your channel, actually. I have yeah. actually, yeah. yeah. I have. Been, By the way, guys, I've been if you, quite yeah, a lot for those my... of you don't don't know, um, Beck does have her own YouTube channel that she's been oh, putting out. Thank out. you. Yeah, thank she, you. She's been thank sharing you. stuff. She, and you're the she one even that stands. Keeps sharing it she everywhere. even stands on scales and things, which takes guts, guys. So if you haven't already, then you know, you definitely um, find Beck's channel and subscribe to it. Um, Ghost the window move out. Ryan says no. It's just it's just it's um, just Alfie. Um, but yeah, Alfie. thanks for the comments about the sales reports. Um, it yeah, I will. I think I will do them. It's just I find it a bit mm -hmm. awkward to do because I feel like you guys are just gonna die of boredom. Um, mm -hmm. You know because it's just so many Aussie parts. Oh, thank right. you, Karen. Yeah. Okay, let's switch. Um, let's just switch to. Um, the view that we need um yeah. this is all happening here uh Ka karen says yes well done back as well oh, how's february you. sales been for everyone it's been really slow says who farted a bit slow z do a coffee channel says lgg i'm gonna do some coffee videos on my other channel mm -hmm. um when i get a coffee machine but not now right ryan says do them dude all right Let's just go okay. to webcam browser view and so show some try. sales. Yeah. Okay. This was a nice sale. I didn't sell this for three hundred. I got two fifty plus eight ninety nine shipping um, for this. This is a one tenth scale uh, monster truck. Mm -hmm. well, it's more of a truggy, which is a cross between a buggy and a truck. Um, but Low C for some reason calls it a a monster truck, but it's not. Um, but that's what they call it, so that's what I called it. So as you can see, this this was like from one of my recent hauls. Um, I've changed the background since taking this photo because you can see it's that cloth, horrible cloth, all wrinkles and everything. So that's gone now, which is good. Um, but yeah, we sold this for two hundred and fifty plus eight ninety nine shipping, so that was really cool. Um, right, then moving on this is something we have shared on the channel this was um you know adam says oh start with the big sales where's the suspense says <laughs> sorry about that yeah you're meant to just try and uh, drag oh, that out up. Yeah, I, it was just you're meant to build that out well, uh, yeah. you know we'll see um this was a sh um a <laughs> oh god the soil sheet <laughs> Yeah, this sheet is horrible. Yeah, this, this we've changed yeah. this. It's, um, it's not there anymore. <laughs> um, this was something I showed um as a pickup when we went to a car boot a few months ago, wasn't it? Mm. This was the same car boot at which I got like yeah. a the three hundred pound thin Lizzy jacket. Yeah, um, and the thing yeah. is, there was actually a few condition issues. Yeah, he this. he had a mark like, on, his on his eye, eye there, and yeah. the, and, and it was he had grubby, like, very like grubby. grubby hands and um and feet and even on the back of his shirt i don't know whether you ca caught the back of his shirt but he had like yeah he had like white patches on the back yeah, of his shirt as well. yeah 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 looks um, that, like that which, that i mean what is that like to be quite honest i would have liked to have tried to clean that up but you had listed this way before i even had a chance at cleaning it up yeah because i wouldn't have listed it like that yeah exactly um but um but i did but you I did thought, yeah i thought like <laughs> I thought, and it was, it was just it was a bit of a yeah. messy one it was it wasn't as good condition on this or did you no it sold full yeah, asking just, yeah oh, okay I got, did you get feedback for it um i think so i'm not oh. sure but yeah i got sold okay. it for 60 pound and it went abroad can't complain then so yeah um crikes has he been sweating says yeah. shelves to rooney <laughs> I don't know. It's just horrible condition. Yeah. We bought it and it was quite dark at the boot sale. It was. It was really dark. I mean, yeah. it was one of the really, really early morning pickups, yeah. wasn't it? It was really dark in the morning and you saw it and you were like, yeah, I'm going to grab it. And it's not until we actually got it home we noticed actually it's got quite a few like faults with it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. This is one that everyone knows about. This is um, something that Nick has shared in the past, um, like many times. And this is Crash mm -hmm. Bandicoot on the PlayStation One. I found this in a charity shop. Um, it's not got the user manual. Yeah. Um, 
and it's not not got a barcode. It's not to be sold separately. So I'm guessing this would have been bundled um, with a PlayStation at some yeah. point. Um, but yeah, no user manual. This sold super quick, guys. Um, I sold this one for twenty and eight ninety nine shipping, um, and it went to France. Mm. So that was sold within like an hour of, of listing. Yeah, so that was bad, quite that was quite good. Um, okay. <laughs> the white mark's slightly concerning. Yeah, they were a bit gross. Yeah, they were. Yeah. Um, Ryan says, question, how do you send PS1 games in a box? Um, no, I normally send them in a Jiffy envelope, but what I normally mm. do is I put card on either side to protect them. In this case, I'd actually just received something from Amazon. So I just wrapped it in an Amazon bit of card and yeah. made like a, my own envelope. Um, I see Andrew agrees with me. Andrea, I, I cleaned yeah. it too. See, Be- Nick and I have similar <laughs> conversations. Yeah, see, this is the, I, I, I watched the chat on Sunday, and Nick and Andrea were like yeah. almost having quite a discussion. I caught up yeah, that and um, and it, yeah, I mean, there there are similarities to like how you know people work differently and yeah. i think like i think andrea yeah. would bother her i suppose like i think it was me. a lot of, they talked a lot it. about ironing because andrea likes to iron clothes yes, and it was like what's the, the point yeah so, i would iron it yeah well you know that's up to you um so the next item <laughs> is this mini champs <laughs> this is a die cast car or, um, yeah. of a bmw mm-hmm. coupe in imola red it says Imola Rot too, because I'm guessing that's like German or something, mm-hmm. right? Is that is Rot German? I don't know. I don't know. Um, still got sixty pound for a dirty doll. I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So like, yeah, this uh, that's the that's the car. Not the best pictures actually. They look a bit weird, and the the actual packaging is a little bit mm-hmm. torn there. Um, but there we go. Sold that for thirty, and again international shipping. Um, so that was pretty good. Um, what's Karen say? Oh, right, stupid me. What was that for? Paul gets spelt wrong. Huh? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I think um, there's a conversation okay. going on. Oh, there's a conversation. Yeah. Going. And Corin says yes, German. Al says yes, German. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, Makes sense because BMW are a German manufacturer, but rot. Yeah. Yes. That's that is a BMW Z3 M M power baby, 335 brake ho- horsepower. <laughs> Thirty pound for a pad boxer. Not to sixty real yeah. slow. Plus eight ninety nine shipping. <laughs> um, so pretty good. Um, we have many differences of opinion, says Nick. Then I remember that Andrea is always right. <laughs> Z's heading for the shed. I'm not heading for the shed. No, you've actually been really good to me this week. So you, you're like, yeah. you're on, you're on like really good terms this week. I'm so, in the good yeah. books. Yeah. I'm in the good books. You can't do any wrong. Oh. I even said to him he could keep the R8. <laughs> I don't know if I want to keep it. It's too expensive. I kind of want to keep it, but it would no, be really good, bad. That's how good you've been this week. Yeah. Oh, so thank you. Idea. This is my final stuff that I want to share. <laughs> we haven't had feedback yet, so I'm tempting fate. Touch wood, it's okay. Yeah. It got delivered today. It should be yeah. fine. I, I really hope there's no reason for any issues with this. But this is a huge one-eighth scale monster truck. Mm-hmm. Now, this truck, when I got it, as you can see, it's not even been removed from its packaging. It's still got... Um, those black ties are around mm. it. The only thing was, is this section here that I'm rub- rolling the mouse over, that little section there, that wasn't there. Mm-hmm. Um, but luckily in the haul I bought, I had a bunch of other spare trucks and I was able to um, put this um, together myself. Um, so I was like really pleased that I was able to just quickly put that together. And other than that, it's like a new truck. Um, mm. it, other than that, it's, it's unused. It's mint, um, and we took an offer on this truck, um, and we sold it for. We didn't sell it for four nine nine. We sold it for four hundred. And ignore where it says two sold. We did not sell two. We only sold the one. Mm-hmm. Um, what happened was is we did have a sale at full price of five hundred, only to get a message uh, saying it was by accident. Mm-hmm. But we sold it. Uh, but for some reason, it now says two sold. But that's not right. There's yeah, only one. So we've only sold um, one. And I've got one that I'm thinking of selling as well. 
Um, <laughs> um, and that's like 400. Um, sell everything and book a holiday, says Shasta Rooney. I think that's a good <laughs> idea, actually. Um, I'll keep the R8, says Stu. Oh, I'd love to. Adam Kelsey says fake sales. Yeah, it, if you do... This is yeah. actually an interesting um, thing because we've started to do our listings as... Um, we're, we do them good till cancelled. Yeah. And we enable something called um, out of stock. Yeah. So out of stock is really cool because um, it just means that once you've sell out of something, it doesn't um, actually... Mm-hmm. Uh, what's it called? It doesn't actually send the item to the completed listings when you no. end them. So in an, in a way, you, it does almost hide things, but it's a bit random, I think. But yeah, we like to use good till cancelled and we use the out of stock option, especially yeah. when we're getting multiples of things in. I mean, yeah. we've only done this since the RC stuff. Um, with yeah. the whole you know out of stock thing yeah um, but yeah, yeah but, but yeah we were pleased with that one so yeah. you know yeah uh, really pleased with that one um, so those were the cells I wanted to show you so we go yeah big screen let's big go screen big ourselves screen. there we go uh, Come on wow. for that. There, there we, we go. are there we are wow alright excellent <laughs> um, photoshopped eBay pages to sell their sellers <laughs> Um, Peter Ray just made eight pounds fourteen on the PlayStation One Power Source demo. That is pretty impressive, that is. considering that, that is. was just like a freebie. Yeah. Um, so amazing, um, a thousand sold items away in postage. Yeah, that I, there's no benefit in doing that, but you know, yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah, one million positive feedback. I'd love a bit of that. But yeah, sales have been pretty bad. Um, so uh like in the last couple of days though they've not yeah, been uh, other down. than that they've been great so, um, we're not complaining because overall it's no. really good um so there's there's nothing to, yeah we're still... it's just yesterday and today that have been bad everything else yeah. we've been doing 100 pound plus days so for for like ever so it's just you know and we're still up massively on last but uh, this time last year 86 yeah. percent it says so we're pretty pleased but with that. But our last year's February was awful. I know we, we covered that a couple of weeks ago, though. Yeah. Adam says, where are the sales charts? Oh, we haven't done that. Yeah, we we were thinking about not doing them anymore. Yeah. What do you guys reckon? We, I we mean, think, we yeah. can still do them. Yeah, we were just we're, thinking... We're happy well, to do yeah, them. Yeah, just show some sales. But yeah. I, I, I like, like a nice, a nice graph. graph. I suppose we, we can... I don't know if we, we can find let's it. Let's see if we can get it up. Yeah. Um, Ryan says, question... After moving up north, few bad sales, loads of good sales. Are you guys happier now than you was down south? Um, we are now. I'd say yeah. Yeah, we are definitely. now. Yeah, definitely. Um, we've had to change it's how we did. It's taken yeah. some time. Mm. Um, we've had to source differently. Yeah. Um, had to change a few things up. Yeah. And get used to working together as well. Yeah, I but think overall, yeah, we're definitely I, I th- happier. I think, yeah, the, the one thing <laughs> that is really, um, one thing that's really important is uh, is adapting to your situation. Down south, we were able to survive comfortably because there was a lot of mm-hmm. stuff to find. Um, you know, there was there was tons and tons of stuff to find, um, and I was like. It, it, wherever you went the car boots the charity shops there was just a lot of decent things um available um and i just think that it, it, you have to kind of look at where you are and when we moved up here it things changed a lot for us they they suddenly you know suddenly it wasn't the case that we were finding we we just didn't seem to find stuff um out in the charity shops or car boots um as consistently I think is the way to put it. What do you What do you reckon? That makes sense. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Because <laughs> okay. I was yawning. Yeah. Yeah. No. Definitely. We 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 yeah. We definitely weren't finding the same kind of stuff. But that's that's always going to change when you move areas. You've yeah. always got to bear that in mind whenever you're making any sort yeah. of move like that. Is your is your like stock going to have to change according to what you find in your area? Yeah. Um, and that's something that. Yeah, I mean that I th- we probably overlooked slightly. Yeah, I think we thought we could just do what we were doing down south up here. Yeah, and we were a bit naive. Yeah, about and, we, it. and maybe we should have learned quicker. 
Yeah. Um, Sam Dallas says, where is up here? Oh, sorry. We're, sorry, Sam. We moved <laughs> to the northwest, yeah. the northwest of England. The northwest of England. So, actually, yeah. well, it's classed as Lancashire. Lancashire, yeah. Lancashire. So, yeah. Um, and, you know, I think as soon as we figured out that we needed to change things in a big mm -hmm. way, and that's when we started to buy in bulk, um, things have improved again. Um, but down south, mm -hmm. it was just, you know, it was just, it was, it was really like, easy to, to do stuff um like in terms of finding stock yeah um bex don't fall asleep on cam lol sitting too close to z having that effect on you <laughs> i'm not boring no no i might no my my neck's actually like i'm in a bit of pain she's now. in a bit of pain oh, okay well we'll <laughs> quickly show you now. let's quickly okay. show you the um the the graph because i have pulled it up because we haven't shown the graph yeah so Here this is the graph okay. oh no that's not the graph that's the chat um okay hold on. what are you sharing <laughs> just, I don't know. Hold on. where are we going <laughs> uh webcam and browser um why was it working just a minute ago okay that's off oh, again yeah. there we go oh there we go, there we go. okay Try right. that. There, we there we go there we go we're on the right screen now <laughs> So here we go. So this is um, the last seven days, um, 16th of Feb to the 23rd of Feb. Mm -hmm. So sales, um, not as high as they were previously, but still up massively. Yeah. Um, so this is the last seven days of sales. Um, you can see this is last, um, careful on which page comes up, so he says Adam. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, you never know. <laughs> Well, I don't have we anything. do try and sign out of everything to be fair yeah. so that you know when yeah. we, whenever we're doing like live yeah. chats and screen shares i always say to him you've signed out facebook right and he goes yeah 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 um but yeah <laughs> as you can see like we had when when we say we had a really terrible um february february yeah last year we, we really, really did. did um we really did yeah and as you can see, like it, we're up a hundred and twelve percent from a year ago. Mm. Um, some absolutely, you know, huge differences. Um, and as you can track the sales there. You can see, uh, you know, this year, one hundred twenty-six. Same on the, on the seventeenth of Feb, seventeenth of Feb last year, sixty-six. Mm -hmm. And this day obviously has made all the difference. So you know, there was a ten-pound day there, and we've had six transactions in a four hundred and eighty-pound mm -hmm. day. We've pretty much beaten last year every day mm, except here, there. where we had a, a swap there, 92 to 138. Yeah. Um, but overall, you can see we 112 percent up on on last year. So that's yeah. made such a, you know, th this year is number a lot of, better than last number year. Number of transactions yeah. is up as well by 96 <laughs> percent. Uh, yeah. Sales are up by 112 mm -hmm. percent. Um, average selling price was up compared to this time last month as well. Yeah. So, so overall, yeah. we're heading yeah. in the right direction. Yeah. So, I, I, you know, I just feel that yeah, we're doing a lot. We're we're doing the right things. Um, you know, let me just get back onto the full screen as well. Yeah. So that's that was the um, the sales. Um, right. Uh, you know, it, it, it it's it's. You know, we, we were sat here very stressed last year, and mm -hmm. that's because we hadn't figured it out. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, guys, um, this time last year, like at, at that point, we hadn't figured it out. That's why that's 112% up over last year, because we were still going out to car boots, charity shops, and trying to source the mm -hmm. same way. The way you can source in London is different to up here, okay? Mm. I know that I could walk around London, go to the car booths, go to the charity shops and go on Gumtree. And actually, Ben mentioned this um, when he was talking to Nick yesterday. Um, ben mentioned that um, like he finds a lot of... You're going to have to move. Yeah. Sorry, Beck's going to have to move because of Nick. Right. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like Ben mentioned yesterday that he um, finds a lot of things on Spock and Nick was mm -hmm. like, he doesn't find that much. And Ben reckons maybe it's because he lives really close to to central birmingham mm. so birmingham obviously a big city he finds more now mm. the same applies obviously when we were living in mm. croydon it's a busy huge area there was always something well, it, selling it was, cheap i think for me one of the differences i i noticed i think um particularly in the south yeah um it's it's quite a lot of throwaway um yeah. you know rather than 
I think people using have more, something yeah. that people want to change it a lot more often so it's a lot yeah. of throwaway kind of items when I say throwaway I don't mean like they're just going to throw it away I mean like they, they yeah. just want to get rid of it um, so that's hence the boot sales and I the think charity it, shops in a way I think we because of the car boots we used to go to and because of the yeah. places we used to w- source at mm. we got spoiled a bit yeah. I mean I'm not kidding you I had this um, place I used to visit weekly um, and it was it would always have some amazing yeah. stuff for me every week yeah. without fail up here it's we just actually yeah. well we didn't go there la- this time did we we didn't find time to go back and see them but last time we went down south we yeah. actually went back and saw them yeah um yeah and they actually remembered you didn't they and yeah like where have you been <laughs> exactly so you know since we and and it was literally after february yeah. february 2017 when we got our first big haul and it opened our eyes to mm. that way of sourcing and then from then on touch with yeah. it's been okay yeah, it um has been. Karen says, uh, more populated area, you'll find more stock there. So many ways to source now. I'm having fun trying different ways. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Nick says, amazing change from last year. So good to see. Thanks, Nick. Yeah. Um, more flat caps and whippets up north, says <laughs> Southwest Sellers. Um, have you guys worked on your SEO stuff for your store, says Adam? No. <laughs> after talking Isn't that the about stuff it that you spoke about we're like oh, yeah yeah, I'm yeah, gonna do this. yeah i still haven't we done still it i think someone said that that's like a dead page on ebay and it, i can't remember who it was but someone yeah. mentioned that um i don't know who yeah. it was but, but they said that it might have been a dead page i'm, I'm very much of the opinion if, if, if it's, it's there, there it. it must do something yeah it's got to do something right yeah so you hope anyway yeah you? exactly <laughs> Ryan says last year was tough guys love the fact a lot of us have been here from the start tough times and good times yeah you guys have been it amazing been fantastic, yeah um, it really has yeah I mean you it, we've been able to share it with you guys which has been yeah. it wasn't easy to do those videos because obviously it it's wasn't. kind of sad sometimes it to, wasn't. you know if you like you can go back and you can see some of the videos and yeah. you know um Alia says Croydon hasn't got any good charity shops though Z only the scope is okay next to KFC and the cash converters ah Alia I yeah we used yeah. to go um, I will yeah it wasn't necessarily Croydon yeah. it was um, yeah there there are places and that you can find stuff but I wouldn't want to mention it on the chat just in case I think I have I thought I've mentioned it before have I yeah. There used to be an M house. M house. Yeah. There's one up here anyway, which isn't as good. But I used to do really well at the yeah. M house. Um, so yeah. and and that, it, like and that was, that's that in Wallington, really nice and that yeah. used to be really good for us. And but not just drive, that. The, the charity shops were good. Yeah. Sorry, the, the, the charity shops yeah. on um Addiscombe Road. Addiscombe Road. I had some, yeah. there's some good charity shops on Addiscombe Road. Shirley had some good cha- sh- yeah. uh, charity shops. Yeah, Croydon itself wasn't great because obviously it's just. Yeah. Um, but around it, yeah. it's worth it. Yeah. Um, I think we missed. Yeah. Uh, yeah the Sam Dallas. I'm sure I can relate. I, I moved, moved from, from Southern, Southern Cali ah. to a very remote Oregon coast. I'm sure I need to pay more attention to your parallel success. It's uh, d- yeah. I yeah. Th- it is. I think. Sorry, well, I even the, I mind. think a lot of U.S. sellers, uh, in a way, U.S. sellers, um, like talk about that as well. That yeah. finding. Or what's around you mm. um you know one that always pops into my head is like bona fide hustler he's in um a part of texas where mm. he says uh, he, i mean i don't know what part he's in but he's in a part where there's a lot of outdoorsy people mm-hmm. so he finds more outdoorsy stuff mm. um you look at ronnie hart he finds different things because of where he lives mm. versus you know it's, it's, it's a lot of different things yeah. you know you just have to yeah. kind of bear that in mind yes. right um yes. Okay, look at Z keeping the secrets. You don't live there now. I know, but still, <laughs> you know, people might get mad or something. Um, okay. Hook Road. We didn't. We, didn't we never really went to Hook, Hook Road. Road. Yeah. I think we, we used... went one time, got stuck in traffic, turned around and went back. No, to we've been. We one. did go. We, yeah, I but we have been. You. I've been to Hook Road. It's right. It's right. But yeah, there's a lot. Of, to be honest with you, I just find that because it's busier, uh, you know, it's it's there. Mm. Um, never mind good charity shops. Where were the good chicken shops? The oh, Barry. There were loads. Oh, um, yeah. There was Morley's on Sutherland Road. I used to go to. Then there's a chicken shop on the London Road near Mayday Hospital, mm-hmm. kind of near the mosque. 
Um, was it called yeah. Favourite Chicken? I think no. so. I don't know what it's called, but it's and really then good. It's favorite chicken um, the then one. just down London Road towards Croydon, there used to be Dallas Fried Chicken. We used to go there after school loads. Um, <laughs> we used to hang out in Dallas Fried Chicken a lot. You know, that was like <laughs> Who was that guy? Who's the guy that goes around and does the chicken shop things? The chicken shop things. Yeah, the reviews on YouTube. That oh, you're the pengist, or and pengist he did, munch. He did a few of yeah. our local yeah. ones from Croydon, didn't he? He'd done a few of them yeah. on his videos. And we were like, oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so by the way, guys, we've, oh, it's eight past eight. Okay, um, we're, we're going to have, have to make a move. Yeah. Um, we've gone but, over our hour. Yeah. Uh, we don't want to keep you guys from your Friday evening. No. Thank you so, so much for yeah. joining us. Um, it's, we really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, it is always amazing to see so many people in the chat. Mm -hmm. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like button and leave a comment in the comment section. Yeah. We'll really appreciate that. Um, and um, we will obviously be putting out some more content on this channel we will this week um, we've kind of slacked a bit yeah i think i get um, like i said i think i sometimes think we've gone a bit boring because we've got you, uh, that's uh, that's how it feels <laughs> that's how it feels i feel I because we're just doing like oh see i see i feel like we've gotten a bit boring that's how it feels but we so, are going yeah. sourcing on sunday yeah. actually so yeah because we're actually well, going out i might sunday. be i don't know if this is confirmed yet or not but apparently i'm meant to be um up against rally roots on bonafide hustlers yeah. channel for the thrift battle so um, we kind of need to get yeah so i kind of need to go and, and source, source because i can't just i can't, can't just be on the show RC, and just you know? be like yeah <laughs> so yeah we kind of need to sort that out a little <laughs> bit so yeah. um anyway guys thanks for watching but and yeah. we will see you Thank in you. the next week bye oh, okay now i need to stop